Ever wondered why traffic lights aren't pink, yellow, and mauve? Or why your boss never wears a rainbow tie to a board meeting? Welcome to our journey through the hilarious world of colors. Now colors aren't just about making things look pretty. They're the silent speakers, whispering to us in a language more universal than Esperanto. Imagine, if you will, a world where broccoli is pink and flamingos are green. I bet your dinner plate would look like a psychedelic party. Or consider if sunsets were just 50 shades of gray. Romantic? I think not. Colors influence our choices, our moods, even our dinner menu. They're the unsung heroes of our everyday decisions. Ever bought a red car because it felt faster? Or painted your bedroom blue for that calm vibe? Yeah, that's the color charisma at work. So buckle up as we dive into the colorful world of what your favorite color says about you. And no, liking black doesn't mean you're secretly Batman. For all you red lovers out there, don't worry, we won't call the fire department. Now let's dive into the world of red. If you're a fan of this color, chances are you're as bright and fiery as a summer's day. Red is the color of passion, energy, and a touch of drama. It's the color of those who are not afraid to make a statement and stand out from the crowd. Imagine this. You're at a party and there's this one person who, without fail, is the life and soul of the party. They're the ones who turn a simple game of charades into a Broadway performance. They're the ones who have an infectious laugh that's louder than the music. They're the ones who, quite literally, paint the town red. Well, that's you, red lovers. You're the human equivalent of a marching band parading through a library. You're the type of person who would challenge the sun to a staring contest and have the audacity to be upset when it sets. You're like a human espresso shot, full of energy and always ready to go. And let's not forget your passion. When you love something, you're all in. There's no halfway for you. You're the person who gets a pet goldfish and next thing you know, you've turned your living room into a full-blown aquarium. But let's face it, sometimes you might be a little too loud. You're like an alarm clock that goes off at five in the morning. Sure, it's effective, but not everyone appreciates the early wake-up call. You're like a firework, beautiful, exciting, but not exactly subtle. So if you love red, you're basically a human firework. Just remember, not everyone appreciates a 5 a.m. explosion. Blue lovers, you're not as cool as you think you are. Well, actually you are. Let's dive into the deep blue sea of people who prefer the color blue. These folks are as calm as a serene lake on a Sunday morning. They're like that one friend who, amidst the chaos of a surprise party, is calmly sipping their drink in the corner, probably pondering over the mysteries of the universe or the latest football scores. They're the reliable ones, the steady Eddies and Ednas of the world, always there when you need them. You know, the ones you'd call at 2 in the morning if you got stuck in a tree. Not that we're suggesting you should climb trees at 2 in the morning, but if you did, a blue lover would be your go-to person. However, they can also be a bit too serious at times. Picture this, you're at a party, everyone's having a good time, and then there's Mr. or Miss Blue, discussing the socioeconomic implications of the latest budget or debating the merits of different laundry detergents. They're like that one teacher who always gave homework over the weekend. We all knew one, didn't we? But don't be fooled. Behind that serious facade is a loyal friend, a person of integrity, someone who values trust and honesty above all else. They're not about the flashy, the flamboyant, or the dramatic. They're more about the solid, the dependable, the blue. And let's not forget, blue is the color of the sky and the sea. It's expansive, it's vast, it's, well, it's blue. It's no wonder then that blue lovers are often drawn to the bigger picture, the broader perspective. They're the dreamers, the thinkers, the philosophers among us. So if you love blue, you're the human equivalent of a trusty old pair of jeans, comfortable, reliable, and never out of style. And who doesn't love a good pair of jeans, right? Scene script. Green fans, we hope you're not watching this while hugging a tree. Now let's dive into the verdant world of those who adore the color green. If green is your favorite color, then you're probably the type who's always in tune with nature. You know, the kind of person who gets genuinely upset when a leaf falls from a tree. You're the one who's always trying to coax your friends into going hiking instead of clubbing, aren't you? But that's not all. People who love green are often seen as balanced, harmonious, and reliable. You're like the human embodiment of a Zen garden. You're so balanced, in fact, that when you do yoga, the yoga mat does a downward dog. But let's not forget the health-conscious side of green enthusiasts. You're probably the type who has a love affair with kale, aren't you? You probably think that a cheat day is adding an extra spoonful of chia seeds to your smoothie. You're the type of person who looks at a donut and sees a circle of regret. And let's not even get started on your recycling habits. You recycle so much that your local recycling center has a VIP section reserved just for you. 
They probably roll out the green carpet when you come to drop off your meticulously sorted recyclables. And of course, there's your inexplicable love for everything organic. You're the type who'd probably move to Mars if they found out it was GMO-free. You'd rather eat a shoe than something that's been processed. And when you hear the word preservatives, you probably start shaking like a leaf. A leaf that's still attached to a tree, of course. But despite all these quirks, green lovers are cherished for their love for the environment and their unwavering dedication to a healthy lifestyle. You're like a human salad, full of goodness, vibrant, and refreshing. So, if you're a green lover, you're basically a salad. Good for everyone, but not everyone's cup of tea. And last but not least, purple lovers, no, you're not royalty. Well, maybe in your own little purple world. Now let's delve into the world of purple peculiarities. It's a world that's a little off the beaten path, a touch whimsical, and full of folks who march to the beat of their own drum, or xylophone, or theremin. You never know with these folks. If your favorite color is purple, it's quite likely that you're a creative soul. You're the type who can turn an ordinary cardboard box into an intergalactic spaceship or a medieval castle. You're a master of imagination, and your ideas are often so out of the box that the box is not even in sight anymore. Purple lovers are also known for their uniqueness. Just like the color purple itself, which is a harmonious blend of calm blue and fiery red, people who love purple are a delightful mix of contradictions. They are introverted extroverts, serious comedians, and organized messes. They're like a mystery novel written by Dr. Seuss. Puzzling, entertaining, and never, ever boring. But let's not forget the eccentric side of our purple enthusiasts. These are the people who might wear a Halloween costume to a formal dinner or use a rubber duck as a bookmark. They see the world through a different lens, and their quirkiness often leads to some of the most innovative ideas. After all, who else but a purple lover would think to invent a coffee mug that also serves as a plant pot? So for all the purple lovers out there, Never stop being your peculiar, creative, and unique selves. Keep adding your special shade of purple to this world. We need your innovative ideas, your quirky humor, and your unique perspective. So, if you love purple, you're like a unicorn. Unique, magical, and hard to find. And a little weird. So, we've journeyed through the rainbow, and what have we learned? That if you're drawn to red, you might just have the energy of a caffeinated squirrel on a treadmill. And for the blue lovers out there, you're as chill as a cucumber doing yoga in the freezer aisle. Green enthusiasts, you're so balanced, you could probably walk a tightrope while juggling a set of fine china. And let's not forget our purple aficionados. You're as unique as a unicorn playing the banjo in a rock band. We've laughed, we've cried, we've probably questioned our life choices. And most importantly, we've seen that our favorite colors may tell a tale about us. But in the grand scheme of things, they're just colors. In the end, whether you're a fiery red or a calm blue, a balanced green or a unique purple, remember, you're not a color, you're a human. Unless you're a